so i'm going to start now and i'm uh, after all uh, after long waiting very good afternoon everyone my name is first of my introduction my name is saurabh vaishya and i am the one who is expert in python python coding machine learning and many of the aspects of robotics so now i have this mentally i have prepared this data structure and algorithm separately this uh, this idea came that i need to go separately that when i was having an interview with my some of my new friends uh, they told me about there was always a one question about alg algorithms and the data structure a data structure was very essential in every coding aspect in interview so i have to came into mind that why don't we make something which is sort of related to data structure and uh, algorithms so we made this 3 days session on we made this 3 day session on algorithm and data structure where we, we will be teaching you data structure algorithms in a very rhythmic way in a practical manner how you is supposed to you go and how this works so we are not here to particularly understand that what those will be but here we need first to know that what is this data structure and algorithm how this is placing a very important role in our daily life and as well as it is very important in our job job perspective and a studies perspective so if you are not learning from uh, our course so even if you go from any other courses or go with your own pace or go study by your own still you can with the help of this session you are able to understand that how this plays an important role and how to study it okay so i just first of all what is a first we need first today i didn't maintain any uh, this you can say the part the part the about uh, how should we go how should we make a ppt and we went through it but today i am just allowing myself to search in a google itself then to understand that whatever i am saying importance it's not just i am saying the google itself is saying so i am just going to profound the how a simple newbie a noob used to come on the laptop or google and search how this data structure is important okay so whatever the information i am going to give you it's not the information that only i have collected it's the google itself is saying okay so if i go just type the data structures in python okay can you see there are different different courses on data structures different different list upper list but we will be learning different one this will be our main course of uh, understanding in data structure what are data structures big o notation explain arrays link list hash table collision handling in hash table stack queue tree and binary tree these are the some of the very important questions as been actually asked by a interviewer if when you are going for the python i already have a lectures on python and we also provide a lectures on python as well so what the python has been so important because now the companies are been keeping their vast tons of data tons of data made from the biggest company in the world from the smallest start startup now everything is totally dependent on data if you go on an internship they will ask you for just can you just derive the data from it a highest paid job is the job of a data scientist yes now today is a highest paid job is a job of a data scientist so what this data comes from why this data is so important so those data is are can be handled by python with a python with a windows combination very perfectly mac linux is also available and it is extremely easy to understand in that ways also okay so that data is been handled by a python in a very particular manner in a very in a very say, interesting way so what we are learning we are learning an upgraded version of deeper understanding of data structures we are understanding a deeper structure of data structure how the there is a structure of data and how it is been converting into a proper proper code that's been used in a proper way so now this algorithm and data structures are not two different thing they are two different part of a program but they are not two different things example if you can you go in algorithms i search here algorithms in python i just kept it okay can you just i click on images if i go in all can you see what is algorithm algorithm design an algorithm is a step by step procedure 
which defines the set of instruction instruction to execute it in a certain order to this to desired output so basically algorithm is a code basically an algorithm is a code that's it this definition wants to say but what what is a coding we are learning python right we can learn python from outside so why do we require to learn an algorithm see there is a difference between a coding systematic coding and an algorithm there is a vast difference between these two things algorithm is a set of mathematics and a set of logical codings is a set of logical coding have you heard about the stronger your algorithm will be the stronger your output will be the stronger your algorithm will be the stronger your output will be i elaborate you in a more in a more decent way if you write a code if you simply write a code example if i just uh, go on python if i just go on python and uh, i take this this my python mod just go on jupiter okay let's see this what does jupiter do Hmm. Okay, I have done this local. Uh, instead of directly going to the directly going to the website, directly going on Google, I have created in such a way that it will show me first my notepad, what is my link of this dot of this host, and after that it will give me a proper area. Okay, so I just minimize this. and i just uh, go on tab and type this so if i just go can you see here there are different different this and i just click on new and python 3 so i will get my local host been working as it so if i try example like a is equal to a is equal to b or let's just like i take a number and b is equal to 34 and uh, c is equal to a plus a plus b okay and now i want to what i want to do print c or let's say anything you want to print i just type to run and i see you can see the answer what is this what i did over here i did coding what i did i did coding but what is algorithm over here what is an algorithm over here now if you see an a is be given a number a is been given a number okay b is given a number it is assigned by a proper number c is a, is been assigned by a plus b by a plus b and i have written print c but can you understand this thing it is such a simple code but can you understand the behind the scene about this behind the scene if you have ever used the c or any other language there is only the description that we need to give a is an integer and after that we need to give the value so that's how it used to work but here in python we are not giving any type of instructions a is equal to 23 and b is equal to 34 and itself we get a value in integer itself what if i try to put in is just 3.4 and i try to run it again i get the value in float though one is an integer and other is a float but the python allow us to even the evaluate the different different so can you see without explaining to the python that this one is an int and other is a float we still get an answer in a proper manner so what is a behind the scene happening over here because you can't see those thing right it is not happening normally or you can say it is not happening within it but there is a, some codes written in a proper way so that is an algorithm that is an algorithm okay the stronger the algorithm will be the higher the algorithm will be that algorithm will be deflected on your code itself understood everyone that's the power of power of algorithm machine learning whatever machine learning ai everything is totally based on algorithm everything is totally based on algorithm now the more decent way to understand a code and algorithm here is the conclusion what is an algorithm and what is an code code is a flow 
of your system. Code is a flow of your system. A is equal to 23, B is equal to 34.4, C equals to A plus B and print C. This is your code. This is the flow of your system. How your code is going to ha happen. Okay. What will be your output? But the actual behind the scene, A is been given a number, 23. 23 is an int. That is the recording. What to do with everything separately is been done behind the scene. So the behind the scene which you cannot see, it's been already created with the Jupyter itself, with the Jupyter coding itself. So you don't need to do uh, anything behind the scene and you don't need to change behind the scene because it is something which that's called an algorithm. Algorithm is the thing which has been done behind the scene, which is done behind the scene and the code is something which is a flow of your system flow of your system how your system is going to work so now how this algorithm is been working algorithm is basically playing with your data algorithm is basically playing with your data i have given a equals to 23 then 23 is assigned as an integer what is happening to calculate that it is an integer what i can do with an integer so to con to even the basic to convert into if to add with a float we need to convert into float as well but that's is been already happening within the algorithm which is happening within the algorithm so how this algorithm is been taking place and that's where the data structure steps in to understand how the data structure works if you're able to understand how the data structure works then you are able to create an algorithm if you are able to create an algorithm then you are able to create a finest piece of art or you can say a finest machines a finest machines okay in software form you are able to create a machine in a software form dear everyone how this data structures and algorithm has been working if i just go to another this thing that data structure data structures importance in codes can you see what i type data structure the spelling has been mistake i'm sorry for that a data structure plays an important role in code optimization the rate at which the data is stored or retrieved from the memory is quite important in algorithm optimization especially when the use data of are involved i am not saying this thing this is something even said by python for aspiring data scientists so this is a sentence you can you see in 2018 september 17 they have given i am not here to conclude anything okay this is something which is already said by a google itself because this is something you cannot derive you cannot think. you can find this thing in a book itself but why google i am being choosing because something people are even very looking for this because the codes are not easy to understand okay so it is two years old so i cannot say which is which is uploaded yesterday and i'm showing it today and someone will didn't have any notice around this okay the because this is two years old and as you know the billions of billion of people have been using this google for the coding purpose so millions of people and billions of people have been using for this coding purpose so this this sentence has been a very streaming as it has come afterwards so why the even this you can see the data the this sentence why this sentence pop popped very very fast as as, as such as i type that code a line over there why this is important because it's dealing with the data structures and algorithm the stronger your algorithm will be, the stronger your program will be. Under this, understand this thing very, very important. The data structures plays an important role in code optimization rate at which data is stored or retrieved from the memory. It's quite important. In algorithm optimization, especially, huge amount of data are involved. Okay. So if you go, uh, I had some of the training sessions on how object detection. I had this, I used to train the object detection. So I used two, I used two method. One is a simple method 
which is used by higher caste cadet and there's a training method so in that training what we used to do we used to take a data we used to make data we used to store in a csv file and with the help of that csv file we used to use in our code we used to use in our code and make that code very satisfying we used to make that code very satisfying by making it learn by making machine learn but that learning is totally dependent on what it is dependent on on algorithm on algorithm so there is to be two different codes one used for training your data and the other other things used to code is for used for is to use for running your code how your code is going to perform so the algorithm part which is training my data is really important because the the accurate my algorithm will be the understand the more important my algorithm will be the important plays role plays in learning my machine because it's is simply my machine will learn better if my algorithm is stronger if my algorithm is stronger my machine will learn better if a person learns better what happens if a person learn better what happens it is able to make a proper decision that person is able to make a proper decision so that's the reason we brought this session to you we brought this session to you that we will be teaching you in a 3 days what is a data structure and what is an algorithm in a very retrieving manner okay in a very retrieving manner this requires a total different level total different understanding so that you are able to understand with the help of python you are able to understand the front end or you can say the front system as well as what is been happening within the back itself with a total practical way okay so all my, there is a link which is we already have given to you on uh, i think so uh, we have already given a link over here so there is a no link so i will provide this link as soon as for i as soon as this possible and after providing this link i will tell you uh, to how to contact us that's a part we do for this okay otherwise if you go on to self learning i will tell you how to go it okay so there is uh, can you see over i i have already listed down the dots of structures in python these are the really important because these are the i have asked my more than 40 students more than 40 students those are appeared for this appeared for a interview in python developer at the senior level yes at the senior level even if you are having a promotion they have interviews as well okay they have interviews or they uh, they used to have a allegation or you can say on analysis on the what you have done previously but if you are applying for a direct higher post they have a very great interview so a python developer needs to have a very great impact so data structure big o notation links these are the some of the questions and asked all by all 40 students i have choose this 40 students because i know them i have teach several students but this 40 students are the one those have appeared for develop for this python developer uh, as well as they also passed they also passed not even a single of them 40 is been rejected all the 40 students those are part more than 100 to 200 has been appeared every every time from python for the as an python developer but this 40 i have selected the i which whom i knew that they are going to be passed for that okay i'm not uh, saying that other students are less but this other other ones who were uh, have a complete contact with me they were complete uh, again and again asking the doubts about us doubts from me and about us that what we are been going from what this python is going from so i used to help them and with the help of them they are able to they are able to uh, tell us and i used to take the decisions or you can say that take the data that what they ask you in interview okay so these are the some of the questions they have totally asked so if i see i have searched a very uh, in a very different way about how this is going to can you see over there is a one more link uh if i if i just say you that the fastest growing jobs in india and the skills they required according to the linkedin the highest uh, the you can say the highest way where the profile is been showed even satya nadella and the uh, uh, sundar pichai and those are the most aspiring ceos are on this linkedin so i'm not saying according to this this is something created by 
linkedin itself so this is not cannot be any true or you can say any fake or something this is something related to the coding itself okay so if i go lead generation specialist front end engineer can you see bootstrap javascript html bangalore chennai digital marketing specialist and they have been giving you see you can see you see the python developer django javascript html so here can you see why this python developer is been 12 so this is one of the most aspiring part where you can come across in a python developer cyber security does require a python it's a can you see skill management security network security these are the some of the topics but to attend that sec network security uh, level you need to go through a very you need to go through a very developers and very different different types of coding and python is been specified everywhere where as you can see there are a more different different stuff like a people do things from java as well as python r c sharp c so that's the reason they have not specified about a particular language that you need to know even a python developer they have not specified that they need to know python okay why there is an important part to understand because a python is a so basic that even any type of job needs require to learn those things okay that's the reason we have been planning for this thing for your internal stuff okay so if i move if i move just slow okay robotics engineer can you see blue prism full stack engineer software and everything even the blockchain even the even this blockchain can you see hyper solidity not just small contract artificial intelligence specialist you can say this does this things comes under data scientist as well this thing comes under data science well as well if you are able to understand a data a uh, data science in a very proper manner or uh, you can say the step by step process of understanding a data science you can apply within any of these jobs you can apply within any of this job under uh, you can say irrespective of the of the part or you can say the skills are requirement but you are able to understand this node js and the other relative just like angular node js whatever the skills are requirement if you are able to understand algorithm in data structure you are able to understand any of this following area how this is you need require the relevant skills so that's how it is really important to know okay so this is something i knew, uh, we need to make it to understand and what is the next part that i will be teaching you is uh, i will be teaching i will be teaching you in this 3 day in this 3 days in this 3 days is this part as i was very excited i am telling you about that you need to learn what are data structures we will be going in a practical way how to how about the data structure if i just say you in a in a in a one worm way so the data structures can you see there is a data structure python 3 point and documentation this is an actual python documentation an actual python documentation if i click on this documentation can you see list list i am not going through all this because this is something uh, this is something just a codes and all so you won't understand this this is something if you have, i will teach you in this manner you will able to know the codes what are the codes but you won't understand how to do it in a practical way so we will go with a small sum programmings so instead of just going with this knowing what is a list reverse what is a list copy this are something just a codes a simple codes if you if you are going to make any projects and if you are get to something stuck so then you go with this documentations but can you see this documentation stacks queues comprehensions these are the some of the parts that you need to know if you see this as uh, in a special way these are the only one line codes these are the only one line code in this way you can only understand what is data structure in a codes but you want to understand how the data structure works because the memory level we need to describe is the that part okay so so if still anyone is been interested you can just give if anyone see uh, there is a link uh, built you can you see over here there is a link is been provided by the build my project in the comment section those whoever wants to just go there and just find the, and fill the form around this 3 day which will be held on 29 30 and 31 from 3:30 to 
every day one and a half hour session and the 15 minute session i stop for the all your doubts because doubt solving is really important so we are mostly focus on doubts as well as after the one and a half hour teaching okay we will be even registration of three the data structure and data algorithms in python okay in python is i'm not saying it in a general form but i am explaining you in a very particular manner in a python itself this i have provided okay so now if you are uh, planning for even more if you if you are thinking that how this data structure is been okay data structure is important for job interviews data structure has been helping no um, so can you do you thinking that i am teaching you data structure only for the job cracking stuff job interview cracking no a data structure is something which is been irrelevant of a particular code irrelevant of a particular language irrelevant of a particular system data structure is so that big important understand if i just go on this uh, data structures data structures i don't write any type of uh, let's say i don't type any type of codes uh, what in which language okay i just click on here and uh, i just go on images you need to know how this images work right what happened to mouse okay so if i just go on images can you see data structure if i just go on this layer this image can you see a data structure between linear and non linear data structure data structure linear data structure array stack queues listed links non linear data structure graphs if you just see this c++ stl what a data structure algorithm important to learn we click on going to click on here do you have a question what i have study about all about complicated stuff so here data structure is something what will make your brain to understand a complex data or you can say the complex coding of any particular languages any particular languages because the algorithm and data structure are the actual heart of a codings are actual heart of a coding people are been investing in this very very highly because because of this thing because how this data structure and algorithm is been taking place and can you see uh, go to page 15000 there are so many so many pages and so many so many things about about this things that it is so important to understand i'm seeing so i'm not so only this is i'm not telling that about our website we are going to different different website to think a different different actual higher website where you can study where you can study data structure so i'm not here to make you structure to uh, add a structure to find so this is not something which is just explained by us but this is something which has been given by every every lecture or you can say the every coding or every coding theory teachers where you can go through this so we are providing this data structure in a very very less price to make you understand in this quarantine as well okay basically we are just promoting ourselves because we want we we want to make make, make everyone learn in a very less price it's not about the it's not about the ads but it's about the us that we need to make it everyone understand more and more better so if you still have any doubt before moving further you can ask me now anyone have a doubts anyone those are over here can you just go on this uh, comment section and just fill the form and we will be talking about everything whatever you require even just filling the form will help you to uh, uh, even to make us connect in a further in a future as well suvajit i am nothing co covering to today i am just telling you the importance of this data structure if you want uh, this data structure uh, if you want to learn more and more about this you need to register for this uh, need to register for this bedman project sessions courses okay any other doubts anyone anyone have a doubts
any whenever out they can ask by uh, just unmuting their mic and they can ask me what is an importance what do i feel what i will make you study or what we are going to do you can ask anything around us okay what is the data and information okay sir uh, satya sir satya ma'am uh, this data and information is basically that the data is been coming throughout our world example if someone is using a shopping app a shopping app i search for a mobile samsung j8 or samsung s9 or just like apple ele apple 11 pro max 11 pro or something i search for that any of this mobile i search for so what i'm all doing instead of going from three different mobile i will work go, go on just to just consider an uh, apple mobile what if I just consider an Apple mobile and keep searching on different different types of Apple phones comparing with other and other okay the, what this is creating it's creating a data in a background what it is creating and data in a background that in a Mumbai in a Mumbai at a place of at some place somewhat at the at his device is been searching for continuous continuous on about max 11 pro what this become it becomes data it's been sell by it is it went to a company it went to a company and the when you go to other websites when you go to other websites so there is an ads there are some of the ads so you can see that ad is totally related to this it related to something that you searched before like if you search about uh, uh, apple max 11 pro then the that that data or you can say that advertisement will be related to that as well that advertisement will be related to that and it becomes a data as well so what we are doing we are actually procreating or we are playing with a different type of data data created by a mobile data created by a laptop data created by a company data created by a consumer data created by feedbacks data created by different different uh, different different ratings so we are going to perform those data structure and algorithm on those type of data to make our app or our website or our product more interesting or you can say more understanding okay that is a data and information so we are actually planning for that to how to use that data in a with the help of data structure and algorithm anyone else no data structure means uh, we are not basically uh, dealing with the data structure means you basically deal with different types of data yes you can say uh, we actually dealing with the different types of data and how to arrange your data in a different in a different manner uh, that's that's the part what is the usage of data structure algorithm that's why i'm saying that this usage of data structure algorithm will make your coding more and more complicated and you will understand how this will start a Yes, Ritik Raj, we are, uh, we are uh, uh, arranging them according to our need. We are manipulating we are whatever we want to do with that data. If you require a different, different structure, we are going to do to that with that. Okay. Yes. So, this, uh, as I'm talking about uh, the data structure algorithms, this is something which has been done in a background. So, if the website comes under this thing and which is receiving a data example, and we are having this Jitsi, right? We are having this Jitsi and we are working on this Jitsi where we are having a video call. So this data has been going somewhere in, so in this company of Jitsi and they are collecting the data that these people have been using Jitsi again and again. So if I ever uninstall Jitsi, so Jitsi will come to us that use Jitsi and Jitsi will give you this. So this is actually the beneficial for data structure uh, for background coding as well. Okay. Any other doubts? any other those who have any doubt you can just uh, uh, tell to your friends and tell to a teacher or tell to a college friends that this data series is three days totally fine if they want to learn they want to come and this is totally so actually data structure was in a, in my syllabus yes yes we think uh, it is it was that because that's what i'm saying now this is not something i'm saying that it is not into one someone purpose it this is something which is really important it you will be having just a practical version instead of just going to learn with a practical version i am going to explain you 
nothing no more itself okay but i am going to explain you in a python understanding that's how i want to say it. okay anyone have any doubts you can still ask me i'm waiting for that no ml and ai is not included in data structure ml and it is not included in data structure okay no uh, data structure is a bit different thing if you just go around this topics we are we are going to provide this can you see over here i am going to explain you how this has been working with the algorithm itself okay data structure is nothing but the code or uh, just like codings okay it's a code it's a code so coding using with algorithm it makes some more uh, it's we can say the more complicating things and more interesting so it is interesting to learn and you can say it is more uh, understandable as well okay so i'm ending this lecture this is was only about uh, what is an important data structure and this is something very important okay so i won't be wasting just telling again and again how important it is i'm just telling you that in a very short and a very less words that that it is how much it's been placing a very crucial role in your in your part how this works okay so anyone having any doubts and anyone having just to go on this do because share this can you see over here can you see on this this part that we have provided the build my project build my project just go on fill this form and just apply to our 3 day session it will be very interesting and very understandable to go okay so please do share with this your friends and something and tell us how this you feel okay and i guarantee you that the data structure will be very very beneficial when you go in for the future thank you so much and i am ending this lecture